In this video, we'll talk about what types of insulin are available. Depending on how long does the insulin stay in the body, there are short-acting, medium-acting, long-acting, and super-long-acting insulin. Insulin Traceva is a super-long-acting insulin. It lasts 40 to 48 hours in the body. Some examples of long-acting insulins are Basaguar, Lantus, Levamir, and Tugil. They last somewhere between 18 to 24 hours a day. For Levamir, if the dose is very low, like 20 units or below, it may only last 12 hours. One example of medium-acting insulin would be NPH. It lasts about 12 to 18 hours. For short-acting insulin, there are Apidra, Humalog, Novolog, and regular insulin. They last between 4 to 6 hours. Long-acting insulin keeps blood sugar stable between meals and at night, so many people will still need long-acting insulin even if they don't eat for a whole day. One common mistake is people skip long-acting insulin when the blood sugar is low because they worry that the blood sugar will be even lower if they take it. In fact, long-acting insulin does not start to work immediately. It slowly trickles into the body over a long time. If you skip a dose of long-acting insulin, however, blood sugar will become very high later in the day. What you should actually do is to eat something sugary and take sugar pills to bring blood sugar back to normal and then still take the long-acting insulin. Short-acting insulin, on the other hand, takes care of blood sugar spikes after meals. In addition, if your blood sugar is super high, short-acting insulin can bring it down very quickly while long-acting insulin is not good for rescue because it slowly trickles into the body over a long time. In summary, short-acting insulin is quick and strong. Long-acting insulin is slow and gentle. There are also mixed insulin. They mix long-acting with short-acting insulin. One example would be Humalog Mix 75-25. Here, 75-25 means 75% of the insulin is long-acting and 25% is short-acting. I generally recommend mixed insulin only if patients need both long-acting insulin and short-acting insulin before each meal, but they refuse to take so many injections a day. Those people might be able to get by with one dose of mixed insulin before breakfast and another dose before dinner, so that's only two injections a day instead of four. However, since there is no insulin to cover lunch, this is not the optimal choice.